Hi again, this is Nikki Jameson and here we are in part two of the sergeant brushes. So we got in our in the first part of this video I demonstrated the the sergeant brushes and so we looked at the sergeant, sergeant blender, the simple wild smeary, drippy jellyfish, blocky, clumpy and we just looked at um, clumpy tapered and I had said that these are very very expressive brushes which need a lot of experimentation with it they're, they're really gorgeous brushes to use and they can be used for both abstract and uh, any kind of painting uh, and so we're just going to go on and keep exploring and as I said in my previous videos this is an exploration for me as well seeing what these brushes do and how they interact with each other and the paper so we've just finished using clumpy tapered it's a very oily expressive uh, brush it is it, it, it does have a a taper and it it actually builds um, color here I think I, be, I believe I have it reset to its um, uh, default let's pick another color here and you can paint into this and I'm sure you can blend this we're not going to go into blending just yet but if you wanted to blend this actually I will do it I'll show you if you want to blend it you take the reset down to zero or thereabouts and you'll find it will it will behave very differently and it will will blend it takes a little bit of getting used to so you might want to use it at um, you know at, it, at its defaults the way it's it's intended but you can always play around with these brushes and you can even create different variations and variants of these brushes to do ex and make them do exactly what you want them to to do okay so but this is this is a really really nice brush okay so that's clumpy tapered so oily water so oily water is a it's one of my favorite brushes it's one of these brushes that you would probably oh why is it doing that actually it's probably okay if you take the reset down it is actually um i use it for blending a lot for a lot here let's make this here um yeah it will This is a brush that can be altered, but you can see here that it is blending these brush strokes here. It's blending the, the paint here. It's acting like a blender and it's on the, the reset there is, it was zero. If I increase the reset, it's very sensitive to increase the reset, but the reset, I've inclu increased it to about 44, which might be a bit high. This is a brush I might actually calibrate if I... Uh... Oily Water is a very, very uh, popular uh, blender brush. Or at least you can use it for blending. And you can see that it's bringing... It's blending in a very uh, unique way. So as we've seen, it's a drippy... It's a drip brush. Uh, so it, would, it can use like flow maps. Um, but this is what this brush does. If you're looking for a brush to blend this is this is a go-to and, and I would probably tweak this brush a little bit and uh, you can get it you can get the strokes and it will have less of the um, the, the the paper grain piece uh, here maybe I increase the bleed a little bit if you increase the bleed it will lay down a little bit more paint there anyway so that is definitely a brush that you want to keep on your radar this is a dab preview of it. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so oily water, very uh, great brush, great popular brush. Um, so coarse jitter, let's move on. This is a great, this is a fun brush, I would say. It, it has uh, color variability. So if I change this, it's going to, you know, change the color here. Let's use something different. So this is a really nice brush and this is the reset at 6065. So it is a, a jitter brush um, and it, I love the color variability here. And you can change, 
um, there is a setting where you can actually change whether the brush has color variability or not. You can choose to use it or, or not, as the case may be. I'm just going to quickly sample some color here so we can move, move along fairly quickly here. So this is a this is a fun fun brush, especially for some adding some texture or making some abstract backgrounds or that kind of thing. Okay, so grainy smear, which I'm sure I've come up against somewhere else actually. Grainy smear is a it smears this is basically going to smear the paint. I'm gonna sample this paint and do it really quickly. This is grainy smear. Again, this is a very expressive brush. You can see it's picking up some of the paper grain here. So this would be great for like <coughs> abstracts. This is an interesting paper grain. I've never used that one before. So you could really you could actually use this one for blocking in, but again, I find these, um, depending on how used to you are with the brushes, I find that you have to be fairly cognizant of these brushes. They need, they don't like to be controlled, okay? They uh, kind of want to do their own thing here. All right, let's move on from move on from the grainy smear oh it's wild smeary I was thinking about that's why I thought I'd say and then knife so knife and let's reset that is a really nice brush here um, it kind of um, blends and puts down its strokes from light to dark. So with an upward movement, I get light to dark. With a downward movement, dark uh, with a light trail here. Yeah, there we are. With it has a really nice edge. It's really oily. This is, uh, if I was to make the brush a little bit smaller, it's actually quite small there actually. But this is, you will then get a really lovely oily stroke, which you could even sketch with. Okay. We could just put in some sketch, sketching with these. And I always like to, uh, Take the reset down and kind of make it a bit bigger and maybe blend some of that. If you were to blend those that, that sketch in, but with this brush, it's actually blending all the paint that's there. So you, maybe you would want to use a different brush to do um, the blending, not necessarily this one at its uh, reset. So let's put it back to reset. But still, it's it makes some interesting marks. All of these brushes can be um, changed, or um, you know, to to the default to, from their default, and you can create variants. Okay, in the interest of time, I should move on. So that's knife. And with a smaller, smaller brush, which uh, let's see if we can make it any smaller than that, you can get very, very thin lines there. See. So, kind of another good blocking in brush there. All right, the next one, so that was Sergeant Knife serrated knife so serrated knife is also a knife if I reset that in its default it's quite big so if you're maybe building in things like I don't know mountains 
you know you wanted to do something like that you could use this brush it's very very oily um, let's see if we can change the paper a little bit get a bit more or maybe a little bit smaller there we go so interacting with the paper and giving a different a different effect so this is serrated knife I'll play around with that one because I think you can get something very interesting from it and I don't think in this video that you know it's gonna do it gonna do this or any of the brushes justice quite frankly you could play around with each one of these and get something very very different so wavy I think that's probably what we think it is but very lovely you know beautifully expressive pulls this paint it takes the paint that is there and it's has a wavy a wavy um, approach it's a really really nice um, it could be good for texture as well and obviously these brushes will interact with texture or with the paper and give you you know a very different effect here different strokes but I love what this brush can do so wavy and uh, the last one is liquid sketcher if I'm not mistaken this brush will oh it's actually not going to do that typically if you have a liquid uh, brush it will add another uh, layer uh, on on top here but it hasn't done that so but this is again the sergeant brush very oily definitely a liquidy I have a feel that this is a drip brush in its method so we can expect to get something like this and it has a reset ability let's see what it does hmm yeah it's very interesting that's when I pull the actual paint so it but in its reset it will produce a streaky effect again another one to be you have to um, play with it and, and change it and manipulate it and uh, you know make it it can probably produce some really interesting strokes here okay so I believe that is the last of the brushes so this was the sergeant uh, set of of brushes I hope you've enjoyed both parts one and parts two definitely a lot to explore in this in, in this brush set and if you don't explore any other brushes these are well worth these are well worth exploring and having fun with okay so I will leave it there have fun with these brushes see you in the next video